Augusto de Oliveira shocked everyone whenever he walked a large group of big dogs down the street and quickly became a viral internet sensation. However, the closer people looked, the more they realized Augusto was keeping an incredible secret behind his dog daddy life. It was on an ordinary afternoon, a seemingly ordinary stroll, that Augusto de Oliveira astounded the onlookers with his prowess for the first time. He led a pack of six majestic German shepherds through a bustling park, and what set this moment apart was the utter absence of leashes. The dogs moved in perfect harmony, every step synchronized, every gaze locked onto their master. This was no ordinary dog walk. It was a mesmerizing display of trust and discipline that left the spectators in utter disbelief. As Augusto guided his six German shepherds with effortless grace through the park, onlookers watched in amazement. Whispers grew into a buzz of excitement and a small crowd began to form around Augusto and his obedient companions. Parents pointed him out to their children, who stared in awe at the spectacle before them. They were intrigued by the absolute lack of leashes and wondered how he was achieving such a difficult feat. As Augusto paused, the dogs sat dutifully at his feet, their eyes fixed on him with unwavering loyalty. He acknowledged the crowd with a warm smile, but said nothing. The silent communication between man and animals was a marvel to behold. It was at this very moment, amid the whispers and admiration, that the wheels of fate began to turn. Unbeknownst to Augusto, a man named Michael Toe was also among the spectators. Little did he know that his life was about to intersect with Augusto's in a most unexpected way. Drawn in by the captivating scene of Augusto and his loyal German shepherds, Michael couldn't resist approaching the dog trainer. His family had been considering adding a second German shepherd to their home as a companion for their six-month-old puppy, but he was having doubts and felt the need to speak with an expert first. So this seemed like an opportunity too good to pass up. With a sense of enthusiasm, Michael and his wife Elaine initiated a conversation with Augusto. He introduced himself as the dog daddy and spoke of his reputation in the dog training world. When Michael asked about his dog's surprising obedience, Augusto explained that he employed special training techniques to build an unbreakable bond between owner and dog. According to him, his dogs knew him as the alpha male in the pack and therefore never disrespected him. However, he always made sure to foster an affectionate relationship with them and protected them from any danger, thus showing them that they could trust him. Intrigued by his methods, Michael inquired about a German Shepherd for sale. Augusto had one named Skylar, a five-year-old dog, he claimed. Skylar was said to be a perfect fit for the Toe family, and their two daughters were overjoyed at the prospect of a new furry family member. To seal the deal, a text exchange followed. Augusto offered to bring Skylar to Staten Island, provided they paid an additional $500 on top of the initial $500 deposit they had already handed over. The Toe family was convinced, and without hesitation agreed to the terms. In their minds, the bond with Skylar was already forming. The family home buzzed with anticipation for the arrival of their new canine companion. However, when the designated day arrived, the driver and Skylar were nowhere to be found. Michael Toe's heart sank as he realized that something had gone terribly wrong. The dog, the one he believed would become a part of their family, remained a no-show. Desperation set in as Augusto failed to provide any explanation or the refund he had promised. The trust the Toe family had placed in the dog daddy had been shattered. They had given their money in their hearts, and in return, they had received only disappointment and unanswered questions. Fueled by a growing sense of betrayal, Michael began to investigate Augusto's background. He discovered a trail of online complaints from other pet owners who had similar stories. In a Facebook group called The Truth About Ultimate German Shepherds, allegations of mistreatment and unfulfilled promises painted a grim picture. There was even a photo of Skylar, the very dog they had been promised, posted on Augusto's Facebook page from years before, contradicting his claim of the dog's age. The Toe family had walked unwittingly into a web of deception, and Michael was determined to uncover the truth. He knew he might never recover his money, but he was resolved to expose the dog daddy and prevent others from falling victim to his deception. It's just a whole combination of deception, forgery, and the potential abuse of animals, he stated firmly. There's no way to justify it. 
Michael Toe ventured deep into the realm of doubt and disappointment as he uncovered more about Augusto de Oliveira, the man who had promised his family a loyal German shepherd but delivered only heartache. A gnawing sense of betrayal and deception fueled his pursuit of the truth. His quest for answers took him to the online world, where one complaint led to another, forming a dark cloud of doubt around Augusto's credibility. The more stories he read, the angrier Michael became. It was no longer just about the money he had lost. It was about the well-being of the dogs and the trust of countless other families who had been misled. It was now apparent that Augusto was not the dog whisperer and reliable breeder he claimed to be. He was a man accused of neglecting animals' welfare, selling dogs that were not as described, and stringing along clients with empty promises. His reputation was in tatters, his trustworthiness questioned. The pursuit of truth was a heavy burden to carry, but for Michael Toe, it had become a mission he could not abandon. He was determined to reveal Augusto's deceptive actions, expose his potentially fraudulent operations, and provide a video for those who had felt the sting of betrayal by the dog daddy. The question loomed, what would they uncover next, and what would be the consequence for Augusto de Oliveira? As Michael Toe's investigation deepened and the damning evidence against Augusto de Oliveira mounted, he knew it was time to confront the man who had shattered his family's dreams and had a string of aggravated pet owners at his doorstep. With a resolute heart and a sense of justice as his guide, Michael drafted a carefully worded email to the dog daddy. He confronted Augusto about Skylar's no-show and the empty promises. His message was a testament to the countless hours spent collecting evidence of deception, misrepresentations, and failed deliveries. Augusto's response was swift, but it did little to alleviate the mounting suspicions. He placed the blame on a partner who was supposedly dealing with a family medical emergency. The promise of a refund, which had eluded the Toe family for far too long, was mentioned as being in process. For Michael, this was the final confirmation of the man's deceptive practices. The elusive refund offered little consolation. It was now about more than just money. Michael shared the depths of his investigation with Augusto. He detailed the litany of complaints from dissatisfied clients and presented the photograph of Skylar that raised doubts about the dog's age. The confrontation was a moment of reckoning. In response, Augusto attempted to downplay the accusations, asserting that no allegations of abuse or neglect against him had ever been substantiated. He dismissed the claims made against him as mere attention-seeking antics by his detractors. With the evidence laid out before him, Michael Toe was not swayed by Augusto's denials. His aim was not to single-handedly bring down the dog daddy, but to unveil the truth for all those who had been ensnared in his tangled web of deception. This marked the beginning of the end for Augusto's misleading enterprise. Michael was not alone in his pursuit of justice. He had the collective force of all the wronged pet owners to rally against the deception that had flourished for far too long. And rally they did, using the internet as a weapon. A woman based in LA declared that her family had bought a female German shepherd puppy named Karma from Augusto, expecting a well-trained dog who already knew several commands and was used to eating raw food. However, within a few days, the family discovered that not only did Karma not answer to her own name, but she only knew the command sit and would cower in fear before men and boys. The women who bought her lived with her husband and two sons, who could unfortunately never hang around the puppy due to her terrible fear of them. Karma would shake and whine around them, indicating a bad past relationship with men they could only chalk up to mean training techniques. Moreover, the raw food diet Augusto had prescribed them was wreaking havoc on the dog's stomach, which meant that she had never been fed raw meat before. Another buyer chimed in, saying that they bought a dog who was supposed to be in perfect health, but had actually never been vaccinated or dewormed, and in addition, was suffering from a severe heart condition that would not only require extremely expensive treatments and medicines for the entire duration of its life, but also significantly shorten its life expectancy. Others added that Augusto's reputation as a dog trainer was fake as well, claiming to have watched videos of his training sessions that immediately made them regret ever reaching out to the dog daddy. In these videos, Augusto allows an adult dog to attack a puppy and even pokes a dog in the stomach with a broom. As the mounting evidence against Augusto de Oliveira came to light, a wave of support swelled for the victims of his alleged deception. 
people who had been wronged finally found a voice and their collective resolve grew stronger with each revelation. The deception that had gone unchecked for far too long was unraveling and the truth was shining through the fissures in Augusto's once unblemished reputation. Pet owners who had placed their trust in his promises of pedigree German shepherds and expert dog training began to see through the veneer and join the chorus of dissent. Together, they filed complaints and reported their experiences to the authorities. They provided the documentation regarding the dog sales and pointed out the contradictions in Augusto's subsequent statements, his evasiveness in the days and months that followed the transaction, and his reluctance to refund his customers. They even showed the authorities a post where he auctioned one of his puppies at a raffle in a state where such practices are deemed illegal, demonstrating that he is not above breaking the law for his own gain. The evidence was overwhelming and it cast a shadow over the man who called himself the Dog Daddy. While the pursuit of justice was still in progress, it was clear that the days of taking without delivering were numbered for Augusto de Oliveira. The collective force of those who had been wronged was propelling the cause forward. They had transcended being victims. They had become advocates for transparency, honesty, and justice in the world of pet ownership. The narrative of the dog daddy had irrevocably changed. No longer a tale of an internet famous dog trainer and breeder, but a story of the courage of those who united to hold a deceptive individual accountable. Augusto de Oliveira's chapter as a reputable dog breeder and trainer was coming to an end, but the journey toward justice had only just begun. The dog daddy would soon discover that the world had room for only one kind of fame. The fame that came from doing right by man's best friend. What a shocking twist! What do you think of dog breeders? Have you ever had a negative experience in this field? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.